Right peeps, it's me yet again. Just want to make a really really quick video of what is this that's in front of you right now. What you see in front of you is actually like a little mini like so called DIY homemade laptop cooler. That is like, that consists of two possibly 120-130 millimeter fans. Well, instead of plugged to a USB port, it's actually like hot wired. It's wired here and goes straight to a power socket. So yeah, it's it draws power straight from the wall because of the limitations of the USB uh, port because you're limited to only about 5 volts what the actual full, we are operating at a full 12 volts from the f plug right here so you're going to use that instead of the USB so two fans here, top layer ballistics acrylic surrounded with a bit of silver tape just to make sure you don't get those sharp edges even after you file it just turn the bottom over. Yeah, some of the tape is some of the silver tape, tape is starting to come off already. So just make sure it's secured in place. Okay, so at the bottom of the actual mount is actually the the fence again. We also mounted these little racks just to prevent all this debris from entering the fence. And we also have raised feet to reduce vibration, hot wire this whole thing, and this piece at the bottom, however, where it actually came from, it actually came from the side panel of my old rig in 2005. It was a Pentium 4 processor, but then it died in 2010, but we still could use some of the parts from the chassis, so we did use that. So this is particularly the one from the rig, and we actually round off the edges, actually hot, and actually, actually folded these sides in. So you don't have any sharp or blunt edges. It's gonna turn back the fan on itself. Okay, it's gonna turn it on now. As you can see, it is kind of noisy. But for me, the purpose of the is not really the noise that I'm worried about. It's the cooling that it, it actually gives me. It actually gives me far better cooling than my old sort of USB cooler. I'm just going to show you where it is right now. Yeah. This was the cooler that I used. I don't know. Pretty flimsy stuff. And then you're again, you're like restricted to the to the 5 volts coming from the USB port, which is not good anyway. And these small, the puny fans, they are not just doing a job. So that's why I switched out for this laptop cooler here. It gives me roughly about 10 to 15 degrees a bit cooler. So for DIY, it's okay. We didn't really spend much. We, basically, we didn't spend anything at all just making this. Because whatever parts we actually use, they are lying around, we actually use for the, for the laptop cooler fan. Yeah, I know it's noisy, but it's cool. It keeps everything cooler. Better than this piece of junk right here I'm holding right now next to you. Eh, this thing I'll probably keep in reserve, but otherwise it's definitely going to the bin. So yeah. So yeah, that's probably about it on this video. So yeah, so just keep me subscribed to it. I'm gonna next, I'm gonna show you some other videos possibly in the future. Well, sorry I hadn't been posting that much gameplay videos, especially Diablo 2. I should be doing more of that. Yeah. But sooner or later, come August 23rd onwards, I'm able to do a lot more videos like that. So, keep in touch. See you guys next time.